Happy Wednesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon, of course, during hurricane season, where you get an update on what's happening in the tropics and things are still fairly busy in the Atlantic, but still pretty quiet for the Gulf of Mexico and for the Caribbean. So that means for us in Southeast Texas and the Houston area, nothing headed our way for now. But I do want to show you what is still going on for other areas to let you know where we could have a few issues in case you might doing maybe doing a little bit of traveling. As far as our tropical climatology, we still have at least another three or four days or so in September, and that is still typically a very busy period. So we're still in that time frame, basically between now and the middle of October, where we could be dealing with still some formation of these tropical systems close to us, maybe in the Gulf of Mexico or maybe coming in from the Caribbean. So we will certainly be monitoring things closely, but I think if we don't get anything between now and the middle of October, our chances for tropical cyclone development will start to go down just a bit. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we keep things quiet and away from us for a few more weeks. And then I think our chances really start to decrease late October and especially in November. The chance is not going to be zero, but it's going to be much lower than it is in the next couple of weeks. We have made it past the peak of hurricane season, which was September 10th. We're almost into October and we do still have a chance for a tropical storm or hurricane to head our way. But so far, so good. Nothing showing up in the Gulf right now. So let's swing out to the Atlantic and we do still have tropical storm Philippe. Yesterday it was looking pretty ragged, unhealthy, unorganized. It did have some drier air mixing into it and also it was kind of getting torn apart sheer in some of the mid to upper levels kind of pulling it apart but it has gotten a little better organized as we've gone through the day and those wind speeds are up to 50 miles per hour. You can see Philippe here, still not the most organized system, but it is still a tropical storm with those showers and storms circulating around the center. And it is slowly drifting to the west, northwest around five miles per hour. So 50 mile per hour winds, slow westward movement, and that pressure down to about 998 millibars. So we'll be monitoring Philippe closely over the last few days that track has kind of shifted more to the west southwest so that puts it right over some of those Caribbean islands by this weekend and early next week Thursday afternoon should be still a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour winds Friday afternoon same story tropical storm with winds around 45 miles per hour but then as we go into Saturday Sunday Monday it should start to weaken still a tropical storm Saturday with 40 mile per hour winds but it should weaken to a remnant low down to around 35 mile per hour winds by Sunday and Monday, and it should start to lose some of those tropical characteristics. So I do think it will become post-tropical and it will weaken below tropical storm status by Sunday and Monday. That is good news because over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it's going to be rolling pretty close to the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles, to Puerto Rico, also over towards the Turks and Caicos, Haiti, Dominican Republic. It's gonna be sliding across some of those Caribbean islands. So if this were a powerful system, that means the impacts would be pretty large. But since it is a much weaker system and it likely will be even weaker by this weekend, I don't expect a ton of impacts, but still there could be some heavy rain and maybe some flooding issues as what's left of Philippe rolls over these islands this weekend. We're talking about two to four inches of rainfall possible, maybe some gusty wind, a few severe storms, but overall the impact should be much smaller than they would have been if Philippe were a much stronger system. So we'll still closely track Philippe. I don't think it's going to get anywhere close to us, although it is pushing a little bit farther to the west and southwest. At this point, at least, it's not looking like it will head our way. We also have another system that we are monitoring in the East Central Atlantic. This is the one that rolled off of the West Coast of Africa. We've been monitoring it closely and now it has a very high shot for development over the next couple of days and over the next week. So this is Invest 91L and it does have a 90% high chance to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next 48 hours and still a high chance to develop into a tropical cyclone over the next seven days. I think it will likely happen sooner rather than later. So I think by 
the next day or two, we will have another tropical depression, maybe Tropical Storm Rena, since that would be the next name on the list. I want to show you some of the computer model forecasts for both of our systems that we're tracking. This is the track for Tropical Storm Philippe. These are our spaghetti model plots. You can see each of those forecasts kind of snaking their way, mainly to the west. And then this particular model kind of brings it north and west. But notice most of these models are taking Philippe right over some of those Caribbean islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, maybe even sliding it into the Northern Caribbean as we go into next week. So we'll have to monitor this closely. At this point, I don't think it's going to hang on and head into the Gulf and head our way, but it will certainly be something to watch if it can manage to get into the Caribbean and maybe tap into some of those warmer waters. We're also going to be closely monitoring Invest 91L. It's still a little bit farther to the east and southeast, and it likely will take a track a little bit more to the northwest. So that would keep it just north of the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos, the U.S. British Virgin Islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic. So that is some good news. Hopefully Invest 91L, which likely by this weekend will be Tropical Storm Arena, will stay north of those Caribbean islands and just out over the open water. At this point, it likely would pass between the Caribbean islands and Bermuda, but we'll have to wait and see if it can hang on and maybe impact parts of the U.S. East Coast. Hopefully it won't. We've had enough action this year, not locally in Houston, but across the U.S. We've had some landfalling systems out in the Atlantic and the Caribbean islands. We've had those systems to develop and hit some of those Caribbean islands. We've had systems swing by Bermuda. Some of them have been close calls. So we've had 17 named storms so far for this year, six hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So we've already had what we would consider an average to slightly above average hurricane season with a couple months left. So this likely will end up being a super active season above normal. We're already above normal with the named storms near average for hurricanes and very close to that average, right at that average for major hurricanes. We are now on that third column of names. And as I mentioned, if we do get that tropical wave in the east central Atlantic to develop, there's a 90% chance that it will develop into a tropical cyclone. That next name would be Rena. So we'll likely have tropical storm or hurricane Rena over the next couple of days. And then if we get any additional systems, we could be going to Sean, Tammy, Vince, or Whitney. So that would be the end of the list. So that will let you know just how busy it's been for this hurricane season. Nothing in the Gulf right now as far as tropical cyclone activity, but look at all of that warm water that these systems could potentially tap into if they were to develop widespread water temps in the 80s to low 90s. It's going to be the same story for the Caribbean, for the Atlantic as well. Super warm water out there into the 80s for much of the Atlantic. A little bit cooler, of course, farther north, but notice that water temperature reading right off of the south coast of Florida, 90 degrees. So this is why we're still concerned that the remainder of our hurricane season could be a busy one. So keep it here. We'll keep you updated every afternoon on exactly what's happening out there. And of course, you can always head to the App Store, search for Fox 26, grab our Fox 26 weather app. You can find all things tropical. Of course, your local weather, your radar. You can track what's on the radar wherever you are, and you can get any type of alerts on there. Just turn the alerts on, watches, warnings, advisories, so make sure you grab this very useful, helpful tool to have on your phone no matter where you are. Well, that wraps it up for your tropical update for this afternoon. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.